hello guys, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah. Hello guys, I'm very very much happy to have you on board in this video. And so uh, today we're going to discuss the uh, Python numbers. And uh, basically you have the three numeric types in Python. You have the integers, you have the float, and also the complex. And uh, guys, uh, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll appreciate you very very much. And I guess uh, if you watch my previous tutorials, then uh, we created this kind of a uh, project here. And so uh, today we are going to begin straight away. I don't want to waste a lot of time. And so we are going to begin with the integers. But uh, guys, uh, you remember in the previous video I told you that uh, to verify the data types in Python, or uh, to verify the type of an object in, uh, in Python, we use the uh, type function. And so let's now uh, talk about you know the integers and. Uh, with the integers, we use the i and t as the shortcut. You know, it's a whole number, and the positive or negative without decimal, or uh, without decimal of unlimited length. And so uh, let's try this example. Like, uh, let me use this uh, x, and then uh, let me assign it to something like, uh, let me assign it to something like a 10. Let me assign it to something like 10. And by the way, first of all, let me try to zoom in. And then I guess uh, let me assign it to something like a 10 here. And then uh, here, let me use the print function now for to print this uh, stuff. So let me say print, and then uh, you do it. You open and close the you know the bracket, the, the normal bracket, and then uh, inside it, guys, I'm going to use the type function in you know, order to verify the type data type here. And then again, I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh, open not uh, this uh, bracket, and then I'm going to give it x. For that, let me try to show you how to run the you know the code. So you go to the run here, you click on the run, then uh, you run the app here. This is the project that uh, we designed, the, uh, actually we created in the uh, previous tutorial. But I guess you can always see that we have the shortcuts here, like uh, to run, we use the shift plus uh, F10 to run it. Then I guess you can see here at uh, the terminal, the data type is what is the, you know, the integer. Uh, let's try with this other example. Like, uh, let me use something like uh, a very long uh, line. Like, uh, let me just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I uh, do it. The shortcut to run is, uh, you know, Shift plus uh, F10. And then I guess you can see here at the terminal, still it is the integer. So let me try to use, an, uh, you know, the with, with a negative value. But uh, first of all, let me zoom in. And then uh, here, let me say what? Let me use a negative value. Or uh, let me just add here a negative value. Uh, actually, a negative value. And then uh, shift plus uh, F10. Here at the terminal, uh, you know, the data type so is still the integer. So basically, an integer can be a whole number, be it positive or negative, but uh, without decimal. And then I guess uh, now, the other thing that I want us to discuss here is the, is the float. And so uh, basically, float or a floating point number is a number positive or negative, you know, containing one or more uh, decimal. So like uh, when I add here a decimal, it's going to be a water float. Let me try to zoom in first of all. And then uh, here, let me just add a decimal here, like uh, let me say that uh, one. So basically when I add a, a decimal, it's going to be water float. So as you can see here at uh, the terminal, you know, the data type is what is a float. And uh, then uh, let's try also with this one, like uh, let me use a positive value. Like uh, let me say 100 a point zero. And then, uh, then I click on Shift plus F10, and then I guess you can see here the terminal, the data type is still what the float. And then uh, let me use this one, like uh, let me add more, you know, decimal, like uh, let me say 20.5, and then uh, let me add it, you know this many decimal. Then I click on Shift plus F10 now to run the programs in our terminal to run the code in our terminal, and then I guess you can see the the data type so is still there, a uh, float. So basically, this is all about the floats, and then, uh, uh, but I guess uh, what you need to consider also is that a uh, float can also be, you know, scientific numbers with the, you know, with an e, uh, to indicate the power of, you know, uh, power of uh, of ten. Like you can say something like, uh, let me use this example. Like uh, let me say, twenty, a uh, twenty. Then uh, let me say, power what? Power, power two. Uh, let me say power 3 so basically i don't know which value is going to give me so when i click shift uh, plus uh, you know i have 10 and then i guess you can see the 
and the data that is still at the float. So basically, this is all about the float. So uh, the last one, let's try to understand what the complex. And uh, basically, the complex number are written with a you know with a J on the imaginary part. So let's try this example. So like, uh, let me say twenty. Uh, perhaps let me say plus. Let me use uh, uh, this uh, operator here. Let me use uh, plus. Then uh, let me say ten. Uh, let me say plus ten. And then uh, you end what with the J. You know to add what an imaginary part. And then I click what click on shift a uh, plus F10. And then uh, as you can see here at the terminal, uh, the data type is what uh, the complex. So let's try also with this one. Let me say perhaps a uh, uh, 10. 10. Then uh, let me add J. Remember you add J. You know the imaginary part. And then when you click on shift plus F10. And as you can see the you know the data type is still at the complex and then uh, let me try also with a negative value like uh, let me say negative negative 10 then i click on shift a uh, plus uh, f10 and then i guess here at the terminal uh, the data type is, st is still at the complex <coughs> yes, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching to this far i think uh, in the next tutorial we shall discuss more in detail like uh, the random numbers we shall also talk about you know the type conversion but uh, in this video guys i just wanted to show you these basics and uh, i guess if you find that uh, the video has been of help to you please consider subscribing and also share it to your friends uh this uh, python and i guess until next time goodbye